In this video, I'm going to show you how you can generate a word cloud directly inside ChatGPT. A word cloud is very good for you to visualize the themes or topics that are appearing in a textual format. For example, you can analyze reviews of your customers and see which topics or themes are dominant, or you can even summarize themes and topics on the website of your competitors. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you both, so make sure to watch until the end. If you are interested in tech and AI, definitely subscribe down below, I post every single week. I also do have a whole playlist about ChatGPT plugins. I'm gonna link that down below in the description as well. All right, let's get started. The first thing is that you want to go to GPT-4. You want to go to plugins. And then from your drop-down menu, you are going to choose a plugin that is called Word Cloud. As you can see, it has a very simple description. It creates Word Cloud images from text. Now, if you want to install this plugin, you simply go to plugin store. And we finally got the search bar in the ChatGPT plugins. So you simply just have to search for word cloud in the section called all. Then you press the green button to install it. And then in the drop down menu where you can enable the plugins in the current chat, you simply click on this blue tick to activate it within this chat. All right. So the first thing that I always love to do with these plugins is to simply ask, what does this plugin do? GPT has the knowledge about all the plugins that are available in the ChatGPT plugin store, so definitely take advantage of it. Here we get a simple description. The Word Cloud plugin allows you to generate a Word Cloud from a given text string. A Word Cloud is a visual representation of text data where the size of each word indicates its frequency or importance in the source text. When you submit a text string in the Word Cloud plugin, it processes the text and creates a word cloud image. The plugin then returns a URL to the generated word cloud image. This can be a useful tool for analyzing speeches, articles, or any large body of text. It can help you quickly identify the most frequently used words or themes in the text. All right, so in our first example, we are going to be analyzing a review that we got from our customer. So here we are going to say generate word cloud for this review. And then for the sake of this video, I went on a G2, which is a review site, and I'm going to take a review for ClickUp. So for example, this one, I'm going to just highlight it and copy it. And then I'm just simply going to paste the whole review here. Right now I'm going to press send and the plugin has started to work automatically. We don't have to tell it to use the plugin because it's the only plugin that is enabled in our current chat. If we click on the arrow, you can see that it's uh, working behind the scenes. And right now it's just simply putting the whole review in a text and then it's generating the image for us. All right, and we are done. Here's the word cloud generated from the review text. You can see that some of the words are larger than the others. And basically that tells you how frequently the word has been used in that review. Also, if you want to save the image, you have two different options. The first one is that you are simply going to right click on the image and then you are going to save image as save. And then the image is going to be saved to your computer. The second option you have is to click on the sharing link that has been provided to you by the plugin. So here we are going to click on share this word cloud and then the image opens up on the full screen. And here you can just either screenshot it or you can again right click, then save image as and then save. Right now what you can do is that you can also ask it to summarize this word cloud for you. And then we get a quick summary. The word cloud shows the most frequently used words in the review with the size of each word indicating its frequency. Larger words were used more often in the review. The most prominent words in the word cloud are ClickUp, Tasks, Notifications, Processes, Tool, User, Automation. This suggests that the review focuses heavily on ClickUp as a tool its task and automation features and its notification system. And this is interesting. It can also identify whether your competitors are mentioned in the review. So the presence of other tool names like Asana, Basecamp, Rike, Trello, and Monday suggests that the reviewer has experience with multiple project management tools and is comparing ClickUp to these other options. And so if we look at this word cloud, we can clearly see that there are many different words that are actually not relevant to us, right? Because when we look at the review or text, we want to know the themes, we want to know the topics that are actually present in the review or any other text. So here words like between, faster, pretty, now, even, 
It just does not make sense to have these words here because it just does not provide any value for us and it makes it more cluttered. And thus we are going to write this prompt down. Please exclude stop words from this word cloud. Now, if you have seen similar word cloud like this, you probably have worked with Python and you might have heard about stop words. If you have not, basically stop words are words that you can import directly into Python and then you can exclude those from your word cloud. And as you can see, stop words are basically very common words that don't add any value to your visual. So for example, it's part, call, well, in, still, beside, by, been, had. Most of the times it's just verbs and nouns that are important parts of sentences, but these words are actually not important for us if we analyze topics or themes in a textual format. So then that's why we can exclude these and the word cloud plugin is automatically going to know which these words are and it's going to exclude those so our visual is more clear. So here, please exclude stop words from this word cloud. We are going to send this and just like that, we got the new word cloud. So here is the word cloud generated from the review text with stop words excluded. You can see that right now the word cloud is way less cluttered and there are less words in it. And now we get a very clear picture of the themes and topics that are included in our textual data. So that's a quick tip here for you. Now the next example I'm going to show you, you can use this plugin with is when you want to analyze the themes or topics on certain pages, for example, of your competitors. Here I came to a website and I simply want to know and summarize the themes and topics what this page is talking about. This can be beneficial for me if this is my current competitor. Now a quick tip how you can copy the whole text from this page is to highlight a small part and then press Command A. This is going to highlight the whole text on this website. So we can just copy this one, and then we paste it inside our prompt. We are going to send this. Right now the plugin is being used once again. And right now we get an overview of themes that are on our competitor's page. Now I forgot to write in my prompt to exclude the stop words. So I'm just going to do it right now. I'm going to just additionally write another prompt. Please exclude the stop words from this word cloud. I'm going to send this. All right, and just like that, we got the word cloud that exclude the stop words. For example, we can see that this one is kind of like a pop-up builder, but it also has carbon mentioned very frequently. So that can tell us that it's kind of like a pop-up builder with a green eco-friendly aspect. If you compare it to the previous one, you can clearly see that there are small words and those are basically the stop words that you want to exclude. So then your visual becomes more clear. All right, if you enjoyed this or if you learned anything new, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're interested in tech and AI, definitely subscribe down below because I post every single week. Thank you so much and have a great day.